Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a brand new video today. This time we are doing a April 2021 Gemini Jets model release. They were just announced probably an hour ago. Uh, with me today I have, uh, let's see here, three very special guests. Alright, so we have Gemini Jets 32, please say hello. Hello, what's up everybody? We have Aviation J Triple X. Please say hello. Hello, everyone. And then we have uh, uh, NorCal NorCal Aviation HD. Please say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Okay. So, guys, uh, pop in if y'all want to say something about a model. Uh, I'll probably ask, you know, at different times for input. So, anyways, guys. So let's start. Uh, if any of y'all were living under a rock the last month, uh, you would not know that the model collecting world was turned upside down with this, the release of the Delta CRJ 900. It is already sold out. There are various reasons why we won't get into that. Anywho, they follow that up this month with an American CRJ 900. Uh, certain people in the model community are already freaking out, uh, rightfully so, because uh, this model has been asked for for a very long time. So I did get one of these. Um, retail price is forty two ninety five. Your registration in five eight four November November. Okay, so that one is out of the way. Uh, now we have the China Airlines 777F, retail value $57.95, and this one is in your standard configuration, um, meaning the flaps and everything are in your standard you know, configuration. So I am not getting this one because my, my cargo fleet is pretty well taken care of right now. I'm pretty happy with that. This one here, guys, is the Flaps Extended version. It retails for a whopping $61.95, so I'm not sure what people think about that. But yes, uh, same exact aircraft, same exact registration. Okay, now this is the part of the release that I'm the most excited about. There are three amazing classic models on here. The first one is the Eastern 757-200. Now, those of you who have been around for a while know NG and Aero Classics both released this model, as well as the one that Gemini Jets previously released, with, which is this livery, these cheat lines, plus 757 on the tail. That one is basically their first 757 since they were the launch customer. They decided to make a special livery. Um, so they're following it up with this one, and I'm like, okay. Uh, I didn't get the last one, so I'm going to get this one. Retail value, $50.95. Uh, N502EA, I believe the other one is N501EA. Now, uh, next, uh, you have the Emirates A380. It's in the Expo 2020 livery, but I will show you soon how it's basically like a standard livery. Retail value, uh, whopping $66.95. So if you open this up and you take a look at the model, you have this little decal up here that says Expo Dubai. Uh, outside of that, it's basically a standard livery. So if you are looking for an Emirates A380 in the standard livery, this one might be the one that you want to get because who knows if they will ever release an actual standard livery. Okay. Now, FedEx MD-11F, uh, there's somebody in this call who got really excited about this model. Uh, retail $53.95. Let's open her up. And I do have a FedEx MD-10, a 757, and a 777, so I'm probably not going to get this one. But yes, if I were a FedEx lover, I would be all over this model. Um, I know that this is one that people have been wanting for a very long time as well. So a lot of very happy people. 
uh, especially U.S. collectors. Okay, now we have the second classic model, New York Air MD80. Uh, retail value $44.95 and $805 NY. I won't get into the history of New York Air in this video, obviously, but I will in the model review. Um, but basically, this airline is a 1980s model, a uh, 1980s airline, rather, and they did end up part of Continental. There is a model floating around out there that basically has Continental, like, draped, like, around or over New York Air to show that they are now Continental. I believe even there's another one that has that on the titles and then the Continental Meatball on the tail. But yes, this model right here is definitely being added to my collection. Um, next one uh, is your Nippon Cargo 748F in the um, open optional open closed doors configuration. I am not a huge fan of this particular uh, model type only because I've heard stories about how like the nose easily falls off, not as much the nose as like the side cargo door. And the, the fact that the price is pretty crazy, you know, you're looking at $68.95. That's, that's more than an A380, not by much, but it is. And it just, you know, I'm perfectly happy with your standard cargo airplane. So uh, I'm definitely going to pass on this one. But for some people, they're probably bursting at the seams because, you know, they're going to get another... Uh, cargo airline. So, anyways, enough about that. Now we have the Qantas Freight A321F, retail forty six ninety five, VHULD. You open that up. Um, you've got this beautiful Australia Post logo right here, and then it says Qantas Freight. I'm not sure exactly what this says right here, but let me see if I can zoom in any more. And Australia Post partnership with Pontus Freight. So, yes, that is why it says that. Uh, so, if you have a Oceana airport of any place, uh, this might be a good model to get. Um, you guys are usually underrepresented by Gemini Jets. So, it's kind of cool that it's pretty cool that you guys have a model now. Now, there is. The Royal Jor Bleh, I can't speak. Royal Jordanian 787-8, retail $56.95. Now, the, the thing that is hanging up people the most about this model is the mold that it may or may not be uh, made in. If it's the cradle wing, because of the huge wing flex, that's going to turn quite a few people off. If it's the new mold, the new JC Wings mold that they made, the United 7810 and the Cutter 789 with, then sure, uh, people will probably buy this model like crazy once the picture comes out. But until now, you know, it's kind of a wait and see. 5695 JY BAC. Now for your third and final. Um, Classic. We have the 733 US Air 4895 retail M523AU. All right, this is the beautiful 1980s livery. Uh, for those of you that have been around Gemini Jets for a while, uh, they do have a 737 200 that they made back in the day in this livery, so why not follow it up with a 733? Um, I do like the engine better on this one. It's nice and big. And uh, there's the beautiful 80s livery. So anyway, uh, that one will be added to the fleet. Okay, next, we do have 1 to 200 models. Uh, I don't know how many 1 to 200 collectors are watching this, but 
this one right here might be, you know, it, it looks like a pretty amazing release too. So you have two glaring, glaring models here that are absolute, you know, winners. The first one is the American TWA Heritage Livery. Okay, this model huh, was made in 1 to 400 probably five or six years ago, and they're just now getting around to putting it in 1 to 200. So if this one doesn't sell out, I'm going to be shocked as all get out. Second is the classic retro that was made in 1 to 400 last month. Okay, this model... Uh, I'm sure there's going to be huge debate on the color of this one, just like the 1 to 400, whether it's exactly what the color is supposed to be, whatever, you know, it's a model. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're talking about a piece of metal. Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that because I could talk for half an hour on that and you probably wouldn't like what I have to say. Uh, Next, oh, and by the way, they're also both offered in flaps up and down configuration. So for whichever you prefer, uh, they will have it for that uh, model. Now, the other one that I'm going to cover is the Delta A330 Neo. Uh, obviously, this has been issued in 1 to 400, a uh, very nice model in 1 to 400. I'm sure the 1 to 200 is going to be just as amazing. So, uh, yes. And then, of course, your BA City Flyer E170 following up on the recent barrage, mini barrage of regional jets that uh, Gemini Jets has been partaking in. I'm sure that's exciting many, many people. Uh, the P-8 Poseidon in the Royal Australian Air Force, uh, following up on the 1 to 400 version. Uh, there's also the, the U.S. Air Force version, or U.S. Navy, sorry. Um, and then, of course, your China Airline 744F. So, yes, there's, there's definitely a lot out there for a lot of different people. Uh, do my special guests have anything that they would like to add? No. Okay. So everybody, please go subscribe to uh, Gemini Jets 32, Aviation JXXX, and NorCal Aviation HD. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Please, guys, in the comments of this video, let me know what you think of the release. And let me know what, if anything, you're going to get. Uh, and if you like, you can let me know about last month as well, because... I do have an unboxing video of that release. Uh, I did not make a release video like this, though. So uh, let me know whatever you would like to let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.